and one of the FODs who oh, missed it. Oh, how did it. we do? She missed it! Ah! So, Wendy, I hope you're listening. Here's how it went this morning with David Archuleta. Big round of applause. Almost your American Idol, <laughs> David Archuleta. <laughs> The most popular American Idol. I should oh, say. No. Yeah. I think that that was a nail biter to the end. <laughs> How are you? Uh, doing well. Exhausted, I imagine. Um, a little bit, not too much. Early. Are you guys uh, still in the midst of the tour, or is it over? It is over. It ended a little like two weeks ago. Are so. you happy to have your life back? Um, you know, it was really fun touring. I I, I kind of missed it, just being able to be with everyone and just hanging out and all that fun stuff. But you know, it's really nice to have the time to finally work on the album. Let's be honest, you got to be happy that your song's cooking over David Cook's song. Come on, <laughs> don't back down, dude. <laughs> what? Don't back down your song. It's kicking butt. Yeah, oh, we, we oh, love it thanks. here in Memphis. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Yeah, it's it's been really cool to see. You know that people have really liked it. Tell us about your new album. How how much input did you get? Did you get to write any of the songs or anything like that? Or were the songs pretty much picked out for you and you worked with that? Well, I haven't really been able to really concentrate and, you know, sit down and write with people until this last week because, you know, I've been on tour for the rest of the these, you know, these last few months. So it's like city, 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 different city, different city. Mm -hmm. So you haven't really, you know, haven't really had time to try and write, especially since I'm not like this amazing songwriter who's been writing for years, hundreds of songs. But, um, you know, I've, def I've been working on that and it's been a lot of fun. So we'll see if any songs that are good enough that I've written that should make it on the album because we're kind of in that stage. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. You started performing very, very young. And do you feel that that helped you in American Idol or do you feel like... I guess a lot of us have been, you know, performing for quite a while. Yeah, and but you, I mean, you've kind of been, uh, you were on Star Surge, saying the Jenny Jones show, oh, yeah, talent yeah. competitions, things like this, you know, at 10, 11, 12 years old. Do you feel like you started too early, or do you feel like that you're glad you did it? Um, I don't think it was too early. I mean, if I love doing it, I think it's the right time. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and things, you know, I always kind of, I always think things are supposed to happen when they do happen. So, right. <laughs> so you're supposed to learn from it. And I've always loved singing. You know, I, I really started loving to perform when I was like 11, um, around that first season. You know, that was like a huge jump for me because it's like I finally, you know, learned that people would sing with, you know, soul and really a lot of emotion because before I was just like, yeah, I like to sing here and there and la la la. And, you know, <laughs> with that first season, it's just like, wow, these people can sing and they put so much feeling <laughs> into their into their songs. So it just, you know, totally changed my perspective on gotcha. music. It's Q1075. We're with David Archuleta of American Idol fame. And David... <laughs> A lot has been said about your dad, and I'm not oh, going to get yeah. into it or call names names or whatever, <laughs> but obviously he's been there with you from the beginning. He's mm -hmm. um, helped you with your career, and what would you say to the people out there who, you know, th there were a lot of things said about him in the media, that he was pushy, that he's, you know, stage dad. You want to <laughs> set the record straight for us, David? He, he's actually been great. You know, he's actually a really cool laid-back guy. You know, he's just been one of the people who's always been there, you know, trying to just keep me um, grounded and not in a strict way. I mean, I think my parents have raised me pretty well, so... Uh -huh. <laughs> right. Well, I think, uh, you're, I think you're a great kid, and it's... Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> you know, it came through during the shows. You, you seem to have a good soul. Right, and, I, and maybe his dad was unfairly criticized throughout... Oh, the yeah, whole I mean, People I guess... in Hollywood gossip, shut up! Yeah. <laughs> 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 so did you think that going into the final, did you think you had a pretty good shot of winning? Or Because sometimes, I mean, you know, look, we all know that when it's down to two people, and even if, you know, you're one of the uh, competitors, that maybe, let's be honest, you know, you didn't think you did well enough. Did you really think going in that you had a good shot at winning the thing? Not really. I mean, <laughs> I, I wasn't... Yeah, that's like, honest. I, I didn't think I was had a good shot of winning from the beginning, really. I just thought, you know, there's so many amazingly talented people out there. I don't know how I'm going to get past this first round. It was just kind of like a shock each each time that I got through. I was just like, you know, I'm doing what I like to do. It's not like I'm trying to knock them out or anything like that. Right. But, um, well, you have an amazing instrument. You really do. Your voice is, is really incredible. The new album, self-titled, David Archuleta, comes out November 11th. Yeah. Awesome. And we really look forward to it. The song is blowing up right now. We love it here <laughs> in Memphis. So. Oh, thanks. Thank you, David. We wish you the very, Yay. very best of luck. And oh, we hope that once the album gets released, maybe you come through Memphis and sing a little ditty for us. Yeah! Right?
Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> sure. Kennedy and Maney in the morning. Kennedy. Shaggy DA, he's in the crib all the time. Maney. Fuck this deedily. You want me to get rid of him? I go, no! Q107. Over there? Over there?